Hello, I'm Professor Rad, and today we're going to talk about subtracting integers by thinking of it in terms of money. So when we talked about um, adding integers using money, just a reminder that positive numbers were deposits and negative numbers were withdrawals. When we think of things in terms of addition, if I had a number plus a number, it would be like making either the deposit or the withdrawal, and then making another deposit or withdrawal. The way we're gonna think about subtraction, you wanna think about it as removing something. So if I'm subtracting a positive number, I want to think of it like removing a deposit. And if I'm subtracting a negative, that's like removing a withdrawal. So for example, if you ever have a company that uh, charges you too much for something, um, and then what they do is they remove that withdrawal and they credit your account, they give you money back. So if I remove a withdrawal, it's like putting money back into the account, right? It's like taking away a charge. So let's look at a few examples um, of subtraction, and we're going to think about it in these terms. So if I have a deposit of $8, and then I remove a deposit of $12, I can also think of that like I've got $8 in my account, and then I remove $12 from my account. So I've emptied my account and then some because I took out more money than I had. So how much over did I go? Well, I took out 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 4. So 8 minus 12 is a negative 4 because I've taken out more than I had in there. Let's think about this next one. A negative 4 minus 7. This would mean I remove, or I'm sorry, this means I withdraw $4 from my account and then I remove a deposit. So again, I'm withdrawing money because I'm removing some money. So I remove four and then I remove seven. So total, I've removed $11 from my account. And then let's look at this last example. I withdraw $4 and then I remove a charge of $7. So I take out four, and then I remove a different withdrawal of seven. So this is basically putting $7 back in, right? When you remove a charge, you're putting money back into the account. You're canceling the charge, basically. So I took out seven, and then I put, or sorry, I took out four, and then I put seven back in, so I've put back in the four that I took out and then some, right? So I put back in those four, five, six, seven. So I end up with $3 total in the account. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this example of uh, subtracting integers using um, terms of money. In the next video, we're going to see what happens with the little like battle between the circles and squares um, when we go to subtract. So that will be a, another way of thinking about it. So um, I hope you found this helpful and I will see you next time. Bye!